Hey, Andrew here again. Um, so I got a lot of questions in my last video about the wood that I've impregnated with the turkey tail. So I'll give you a quick little look at it now. It has massively come on now. As soon as the damp weather came in, it just exploded outwards. So I'll just give you a bit of a look. So starting at the top, there's a few little bits, nothing major. But then when you move down to the bottom, it absolutely has exploded. And if you look down into these little crevices, there's quite a bit in there. And then this area here, I'll show you, there we go. This area here is the first year. This was the first year here. This is the second year here. This is the third year. And then all the newer stuff, all this stuff here is the, this year. So if you look around as well, there's a lot in here. Sorry, I'm doing this in selfie mode here, so it's, it's kind of a bit of a pain. <laughs> but then as well, in the top of it here, and this I never planted, not this stuff here, I can get rid of this, but this here is actually a raspberry bush. And it has been growing for quite a while. You can see this couple of nice new shoots. I'll see if I can get them in focus. There you go. There's one nice little new shoot, and there's another. Um, but yeah, how I done this and how I'm impregnating the rest of the logs is I take off the turkey tail and what I do as well is I dig under here, okay? And when I dig under here, you just notice it's a complete mass of mycelium, just pure white. And that goes down, I actually moved this log, I actually went down about two foot, that mycelium for this. So I took out a load of that, broke up some of the turkey tail mushrooms. Um, I, get out of the rain here because it just started booking and rain um, but yeah so I took the, the mycelium out and I took the mushrooms up I ground all that up into a fine powder I mix that with warm water can't be hot in any way literally lukewarm water because you don't want to damage the mycelium um, small bit of lukewarm water and then as well I made nutrient out of nettles and comfrey so I blended nettles and comfrey together and sorry there guys Getting a bit of rain on me. Put that in here. Um, so yeah, I blended nettles and comfrey together and that's mixed that in, in with the water. So I'll show you the water here that I have. This is what I have, one of my water collection devices. Very simple. Downpipe coming in from the gutters. Um, but I've blended a load of comfrey and nettles, put it right down the bottom of that, and then just mix that with the mycelium. Left it for 12 to 24 hours. And then I got little dowels tiny little dowels. Drilled a load of holes in the other logs, left the dowels in the water for, I think it was about two or three days I left it in there for, and then after that I just literally stuck them all in, and then the rest of the water I poured over the logs, and then the, the paste I suppose that was left at the bottom, because it was quite, quite dirty water there at that stage, all that, I just literally rubbed in, took a couple of hacks with the axe, rubbed that into the, the dead logs, and then literally just leave it outside, forget about it for a year or two, and then you have your turkey tail next year. Um, you don't, as I said, I'll show you again in this. Hold on one second, let me get over to this log. So the first year here was literally just this little bit. Second year was actually less. So it was just this small chunk opposed to all this. And then the third year, there was, where's the other stuff gone? This stuff in here. And then it just completely took off and started flying along. Um, now that log should last me a good five, ten years minimum of uh, harvesting turkey tail off it. Um, you'd be surprised how rotten the logs can actually become before the turkey tail stops growing on them. Like they'll they'll nearly be mush into the ground. Like um, so, yeah. All I do now is I do every two years I impregnate another log, leave it out in the garden. I'll never have more than ten logs. And I'll just show you the other ones I've got. This is what I'm talking about. These guys here. So what I actually do is I use them for a seat around the campfire. And then when they do get a bit dirty and they start actually producing the mushroom, just throw them into the back ditch. Along here somewhere. Along the back here. And uh, forget about them for a year or two. And there you go. There's turkey tail. But look, I hope this was uh, informative to you. I hope it kind of gives you an idea of what it's like to grow the turkey tail. It is... Probably the easiest thing you can ever grow, um, and they are they're extremely hardy plants, or sorry, not plants, funguses. Um, but yeah, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a good. One.